Let's design our own custom financial statement using the financial statement wizard. To go to the wizard, come here under reports, financial statements. Down here in the lower right hand corner is the financial statement wizard. Click on here and we have an introduction to the wizard. Let's click on next. The first thing we'll do on this window is choose a financial statement template. Peachtree comes with a number of financial statement templates. All the templates have the word standard in front of them in brackets. Let's design a custom income statement. Down here we'll want to change the name of the income statement. Let's design a departmental income statement. Here we could even change the description so that when we're in the select a report window we could quickly see the description that would tell us what this report generates. Let's click on next. Here we can change our headers and footers. The company name is what's generated in the first line. Income statement is the second line so let's put departmental in front of this. Departmental income statement. And then this is fine. This is for the period ending. And the footer is fine for management purposes only. If we wanted to add another line for the header or another footer, we could come here and type in these fields. Over here, we can also insert information directly from Peachtree. For example, if we wanted to put in today's date in the bottom footer line, let's click on next. Here we choose the range or period that the report is going to generate. Current period will default to the period that Peachtree is set to. You click on the down arrow here and you can define a range or tell Peachtree to generate the information for the current three months. We're going to leave it at current period. Here is general ledger account masking. Under general ledger account masking, we can define departments and generate information only for a certain department. Masking and departments are covered in another training video. Let's come here and set up an account mask. We're going to have six stars, then a capital A V. This is going to generate a departmental income statement for department A V, which means that all GL account numbers ending with the seventh and eighth digit of capital A V will be included in this report. We'll click on next. Here we can set our column properties. Up here we can add 30 columns to our financial statements. Let's look at each one of these columns. When we select the column here, information is displayed on this side. Let's look at an activity column. You can see under activity, we're going to have some information over here. Time frame, and here's one of interest, rounding. If we just want whole dollars and not cents, we could select that here. Here's alignment and indentions. We can use these arrows to move the line we're selected on up and down. Here's our year to date row. Once again, let's change this to whole dollars. Let's click on next. Here we can set our column options. Let's look at this. Let's go to the activity and you can see that account mask is already set. If we wanted a secondary title we could put that in here and we can determine the width of the column. If we want the dollar sign to appear we'll leave this checked next. Here we can change fonts 
for our headers and footers, along with columns. Next. And then this is the formatting and default printer screen. Let's not see zero amounts, but we'll leave the rest of this checked. Let's click on Next, and now we've just designed our own departmental income statement. And let's click on Finish. And you can see that we get an income statement that only includes information for this department.